Good morning. It's a pleasure to uh, be here today. And if you haven't looked at your insert uh, in your bulletin, you'll see something looks like this. If you could go ahead and fill that out, I would appreciate that. And uh, uh, I'll be at the uh, back of the uh, sanctuary at the end of the service. Uh, we can place those particular uh, items in that box. So uh, what is COPE? Obviously, like Dustin said, COPE is one of the, uh, the missions of our many missions of our church. And uh, I know, first of all, that you all support us, whether monetarily or spiritually, emotionally, you guys are with us. And boy, we've already had many from the congregation uh, uh, submit some donations already uh, as of today and, and last week. So what is COPE? It's a nonprofit, and uh, we uh, work with uh, the survivors of domestic violence. Also, uh, we work with the offenders, those who uh, receive probation from the various courts in Lincoln County will come to our uh, place for uh, a 52-week uh, session and hopefully we can turn around those negative behaviors that they were, uh, were doing uh, in their relationships and we feel good about it. So, and we're the only uh, agency in town that's uh, authorized by the state of New Mexico to do that. So. Uh, and again, what we do, we provide counseling and we have an attorney full-time. Attorney uh, will deal with uh, divorces, child custody issues, um, protective orders, things of that nature, all of which are free to our survivors. Now, as much as you all don't like statistics, I've got to tell you something. This is really important. About each year, Coke sees about 200 people. And of those 200, 140 are survivors. The other 60 are our probationers and abusers. Now, again, of that number, all of them have partners. And you'd say, oh yeah, the partner of the offender is going to be the survivor whatever reason, not the case at all. So we've just doubled the number of people in the community that have been affected. Also, they have children. And there's roughly uh, 220 for the survivors and about 120 uh, children for the offenders. Basically, each family is going to have about two people. All of that comes together, and you're looking at 800 people in our community every year that cope it serves in some form or fashion. This does not include grandparents, friends, and employees. This does not include the nest, which uh, we're separate from the nest, but I assure you, we're friends. And someone says today, well, John, who should I give to, Cope or the nest? I say you should give to both. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? So why am I up here with this box and telling you we have a fundraiser. Every year we have a, a major fundraiser. It's going to be at Alto again this year, and it's called Dancing for the Cause. I have tickets here. It's going to be on the 11th of May, starting at, at 5 o'clock, excuse me, 5.30. And that's when the buffet is, then the actual event will start at 7. So we accept donations. You can buy tickets from me today however you can. I would so much appreciate everyone supporting us because I assure you, in one year's time, I told you approximately how many people are affected in Lincoln County. Just think, over the years, how many people have been affected. It's staggering. But we're all still working towards the cause of eliminating that. We're doing our best. So I want to say thank you very much, and God bless and keep you all. Thank you. Before he sits down, I want to pray over John and the Cope Ministry. So if you would join me in prayer. Father, thank you so much for the work that you're doing through John and through what is happening at Cope. 
I pray right now that you would continue to strengthen their volunteers to give your hope and your joy to men and women that are suffering violence and despair and uncertainty. We pray that you be with those um, men and women and children, that you would allow them um, to feel peace in the midst of the storm, that you would allow them to know that there is a living God that has something better for them. And we pray that the cycles would be broken and that healing and restoration would occur. We ask these in the things in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.